So that's how conditionals work. Now let's design a function finally to convert the respiratory rate into a number of points. The signature of this function is, let's call it rate points. It's to take a number, which is a respiratory rate, and return another number, which is the uh, points. Here's a header. Let's call our input RR for respiratory rate. Let's write some examples. Now, when we use conditionals in a program, it's important that we write examples for every case in the conditional. So we should have a case, uh, have an example for each of the five cases in the table. The template of this function is a little interesting. One kind of template we might use is just the same kind of template we've been using to remind ourselves that, hey, we have this input RR we could use. Very soon, we're going to see how this template can be made more detailed based on a different kind of data definition for what the input respiratory rate is. For now, it seems that the rate is just a number, so let's stick with this template for now. So now we come to actually defining the function. We basically need to use the conditional that we already wrote as the body of the function. So now we can run the program and all of the tests pass.